Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'll show you how to insert, retrieve, and delete the information from table and form using the HTML and JavaScript. So without wasting time, let's get it started. So let's first create a form. Giving a first name. Enter your first name. And uh, input fi input field as a text ID as a first name size as a thirty copy and just paste it. And just change the first name to last name. And the ID is the last name. So let's check out in our browser. Yep, it's working. Just make here a break. And the break. Now it is looking somehow good. Let's create a table. Table and uh, let's create an id and let's give the id as a data table inside it there is a heading as a first name last name and here is a table data as a first name as a zone And uh, last name is at Smith. Similarly, I can have uh, Tom Bob. So now let's see on our web browser. Yep, it's working. And here you can give a break line, break line, and yep. Now it's looking somehow good. Now next what I have to do is whenever I click to this row, then the data of this row should be retrieved to this form. As first name should be displayed here and the last name should be displayed at here. So let's do. So let's create a script tag inside the year. I'm creating a function selected row and here let's declare a variable a table is equals to document dot get element by id and id is data table and let's declare another variable our index create a loop here where i is equals to zero to i less than table dot rows dot length and increment the i table dot rows i dot on click is equals to function then here let initialize the r index as this dot row index to take it I'm going to print on the console our index. Let's uncomment this, comment down this, and uh, let's see. Yep, now this is one, this is two, and this is the three. So here you can see it has been printing the index of the row. So somehow we are getting. Here I can have a now I can comment down this so it will not take the effect and whenever I click that the data should be retrieved on the form so here let's initialize declare a variable called f name is equals to document that get element by id and id is the first name uh, 
And here the next one is the last name. So here I'm going to uh, retrieve that. I've named that value is equals to this dot sales zero dot in your HTML. Change it to sales one. Now let's click the John Smith and John Smith pops up on the input field. Now let's create a button here using the input tag and it's a button. So let's create a submit and put the value as a save on a click. I'll be creating a save function there and here function save here what I have to do is whenever I retrieve the information I can edit and save that let's create a table table that roads our index dot sales zero dot inner html is equals to fnm dot value and here last name there's a zone and here is a bob so yeah we have edited and said uh, I can insert a new data to the table. So to do that, let's create a function called uh, insert. And let's create a button here of input type submit. This value is insert on a click your insert function and let's create an insert function create a new data is equals to table dot insert row and uh, let's create a sale zero is equals to new data dot insert sale and uh, cell one and here's one cell zero dot inner html is equals to fnm dot value inner html is equals to last name dot bell so let's do here let's create David and do so I'm going to insert let's say yep now the last thing that I want to do here is I can use a delete function and there is table that delete row and we should give our index here and to make the form blank we should give the value empty last name that value is equals to empty so let's do and uh, to call this function i'm going to create a button here submit value and you should delete on click delete you should delete button so i want to delete this tom smith yeah we are success so i have shown in this video how to 
edit the table data, how to insert a new data, and how to delete the row of that table. So hope you guys, you like my video. Please like, share, and subscribe.